This is Twit. Now, uh, Mark Gurman says on Bloomberg that Apple will announce it. The ARM chips on Mac at WWDC, which is next week, or two weeks, I guess. Um, that's pretty exciting. June 22nd. That makes sense. We've even, I think you might have speculated that, Renee, that if you're going to get people moving to ARM in 2021, and that's the other rumor, uh, that you're going to have to tell developers now. Yeah, I don't know if they will, but they literally could just take Steve Jobs' keynote from the Power PowerPC <laughs> to Intel transition, <laughs> overdub a couple words. Like, it, like the Mac is living a double life. It's all about power efficiency, you know, power per milliamp. Uh, or performance per milliamp and just replay that entire thing and say, we looked at the roadmap, you know, it's more of a parking map at this point. Uh, and we believe that we can make a better future with our own silicon destiny and then do. My, my biggest question is, are they going to do a monolithic keynote if they don't have to put everyone in the room? Or will there be like announcements all week instead of all on one day? Mm -hmm. So like it, it'll be super fun if there is a jam packed keynote on Monday where they drop one news bomb after the other. But an argument could be made that spacing them out and having like an, I, an iPhone day and an iPad day and a Mac day uh, could be just as interesting since we're all, we're all watching from home. Yeah, especially yeah, especially right now where you know every day is potentially a keynote. That that could be what they do every single day, just kind of make an announcement for the next big thing that's coming. Oh, I hope every day is not a keynote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes so much, right? <laughs> oh my God! Let's see, June twenty second uh, is a Monday, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll we'll definitely cover whatever they do Monday. <laughs> Tuesday, who knows? I mean, we'll be doing Mac Break Weekly. I guess we could either be talking about what they announced on Monday or if they're doing it, this is the problem is we won't know until it's actually happening. Yeah. So we yeah. may uh, be starting Mac Break Weekly next Tuesday and then say, oh, we, we're going to cut right now to the stage. <laughs> There's Well, it won't be a stage. Where, will it's it a lot of work. It's a lot of work to do keynotes every day. So Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know, if, they're pre, that, if they're pre-filmed, they're pre, you know, right. filmed, you know, they just have to hit the play button, and it's we just, just watch. When like, you work on a when you work on a lot of keynotes, though, the, the, it's it's not just what's happening on stage; it is all the PR around it, all the planning, all the process. There's just this massive village, almost a small leak. city, <laughs> that that is part of the of the push of of giving that. I'm not saying that they're not going to do that. They they may decide to do it all week, but if they do, it's really hard. There's a reason that they don't that most companies don't do that. It's it's not just because of the stage and everything else. It's because the PR gets everybody queued up and and teed up for it and there's streams and there's, you know, where they're going to get, you know, where they're going to do ad buys and, you know, all the other things that are really, you know, all these companies when they're when they're doing these keynotes, there's just just this giant machine that that you're kind of in the middle of um to make that work. And so I think that it's it's challenging to stretch it out for the entire the entire village that's involved with uh, rolling anything out new. Yeah, there's also so, so many they, they might do it, but I don't think there's so many potential points of failure too. Of like, oops, we accidentally announced something earlier than we were supposed to, or something like that. Yeah, or somebody got my big question is well, like, what it there's like so far I look at my timeline and a bunch of people are oh god finally Intel's been so slow I just want the battery life improvements the performance improvements the you know the ability to not have fans going all the time and then you see developers and people who run Windows and they're like oh they're gonna they got rid of they're gonna get rid of OpenGL they, you know they've already got rid of 32-bit apps I'm not gonna be able to compile anything I'm not gonna be able to run virtual machines what's gonna happen to my Windows boot camp and it, it seems like all of these things are equal parts pleasure and pain to different people at different times. And I don't, and I think that the transition. My guess is the transition will take at least two or three years to do a complete transition, maybe five. Um, I think that the, you know, it, the air, you know, the air type at, um, computer is probably the most reasonable one to start with. But then after that, I think you you start slowly moving towards the pro the pro machines. But I think the pro machines could be twenty, twenty three, twenty four. You think they'll do that though? They machines. won't keep Xeons or whatever the. Intel chip is on a on the uh, iMac Pro and the yeah. Mac I think Pro. that I think eventually, eventually they, they could move over to ARM, but I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. I mean, if, if they if they did it in five years, I'd be impressed. What would be missing? Is it is it raw performance or something else? Well, it's also the, it's the support from the apps. You know, there, the apps that are needed for the pro the pro side are just much different than the app. It's it's one thing to um, you know make your smaller computers run it but but like is photoshop going to run on it and is maya going to run on it and is they will run all these other in this, emulation will they run or will you yeah have but to the problem is is that graphics graphics processor processing needs generally if on the pro side that has to be it, redone 
it really needs to be at full performance. And yeah. I think eventually it may run faster and may run right. better. But I think that they're going to what, what Apple doesn't need is to be they've just come out with one of the best pieces of hardware ever made as far as the Mac Pro goes. Um, why, you know, why cut it out at right. the knees, yeah. you know, with some kind of newfangled chip? 